Hey there, everybody. It's Fred Thomas, and you are watching Rideable TV, the YouTube channel for 80 bikes, frame and wheel, and all things bike. And today I'm going to give you a tour of the new Keys Steel Limited gravel bike. But before I do that, let me remind you that Austro that 80 Bikes is the modern face of Austro Diamond Cycling and the bike company of the future. And the one way that we are different from all the other great bicycle companies that are out there is that we've got the 80 Bikes Conversion Program. Now this program allows you to turn all of your old bike gear, whether it's a frame set, or wheels, eight speed, nine speed, campy components, a bike, um, bike racks, trainers, accessories, computers, clothing, all that stuff that's just sitting around getting in the way into cash that you can use to offset your investment in a Keys or an Ultima or an Ubercross or a Superlink or a TT Carbon. It's a really powerful mechanism. Customers love it. And it's a great way to unlock the value that's just sitting in the corners of your garage and all your old bike gear. Um, it saves you a lot of time. Um, it creates more space in your space and it produces the cash that you can use to buy more stuff or um, just go buy some dinner or something. And it's a, a great way to remain compliant with the Ministry of the Interior, which regulates how many bikes we're allowed to own. And um, it allows you to say, well, look, I got one new bike coming in, but I got all that old stuff that's just sitting around going out. It's very effective. Um, but you knew all that. You knew all that. I've been talking about it for a long time. Let's talk about this gravel bike. This is the um, uh, AD Keese Steel Limited. Keese rhymes with geese. And if anyone can tell me what Keese means um, while this live stream is going, you'll win something. Um, but uh, this has been about three years in the making. If you, if you really start, um, it, it, you know, it got delayed a lot by the pandemic. And then we had a prototype. And we made a lot of changes to the prototype. And um, finally, um, we have the frame sets. They're in production. And this is the first um, build. And um, wow, and I quite like it. It worked out um, very well. Um, the frame is Columbus steel all the way through. We've got oversized uh, down tube and top tube, I believe a 39 millimeter diameter down tube, a 29 millimeter um, C tube and a 32 millimeter top tube. That's a lot of data for you, but it's oversized. It gives it a, a beefy feel um, and uh, it really absorbs the, the road. Um, this one, uh, the frame is also featuring a T47 bottom bracket. Um, we've got a 44 millimeter head tube um, which allows you to run a zero stack um, uh, and an external cup headset. Uh, it's through axle, um, standard 12 by 142 millimeter, running Paragon uh, flat mounts, Paragon um, uh, dropouts, but with a, uh, a flat mount for the for the rear brake. Um, we've got Brazon external um, Brazon eyelets for external cabling for the rear derailleur and the brake. Set up for one speed. Um, we didn't bother with the front derailleur because it's just we're just not seeing too many of those in uh, in gravel. Although they are still popular, um, and uh, that is um, that's it on on the technical stuff. It features the Steria Green, which is um, sort of the cousin that you find the, the, the green that you find in Cousin Puch, that logo, um, and uh, we've got the AD logo on the down tube, which um, gives it that um, distinctive and uh, classic uh, look. And, um, and when you put the wheels and the components on it, um, you get a bike that weighs in, uh, I would say at about 19 pounds. I actually forgot to weigh it. I'll put it up on the website. Um, it's not the lightest thing around, but with all this gear, it's not really gonna matter too much. Um, um, I went with uh, the Shimano GRX Mechanical 810, 812 series. Um, it's one by, um, I'm running a 40 tooth here and a 1142, um, anticipating some pretty steep climbs somewhere out there. And um, GRX is hydraulic brakes, which is nice. Um, I'm running uh, 160 millimeter rotors 
And um, I went with uh, Boyd uh, GVL 650B uh, wheels so that I could get the widest tire on that possible. And um, that is a uh, 2.1 inch tire. I went with the, the Terravale Sparwood um, uh, tire, um, 53 millimeters um, if you measure it. And there's still, that's about as much as you can do uh, on this frame. Um, you might be able to squeeze in something wider if it exists, but it would be a squeaker. Um, so that is going to absorb the road, I'm pretty sure. I don't really know. I've never really ridden gravel. I've ridden my cyclocross bike plenty of places, but I've never done the gravel thing, nor have I done a gravel race. So no more excuses for me. Um, and uh, um, so, uh, yeah, and then um, we're running a, a you know 27.2 um, seat post, um, and we run the um, uh, zip. Uh, Explorer handlebars are flared out a little bit. They flare out and allows you to see the, the AD bar plug. It's very cool. The pièce de résistance for the for the build. Um, and just on the frame, th this is a, a what we're calling a medium, uh, which means that it's got an effective top tube um, of about 54 uh, centimeters. The seat tube is 52 centimeters. Uh, we've got a 14 millimeter head tube and um, that's about it, at least on, on those, those key specs. Uh, it's made in the USA by Master Craftsman. Um, it is in production, as I said, right now. So if this frame is speaking to you, you can order it. You can order it now, reserve it. <laughs> um, and um, it will be with you in, in six to eight weeks or sooner. Um, so there's more information about the frame and the bike and the terms um, on the website. Um, that's all I got right now. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you again soon. Oh, yeah.